This video was sponsored by ESR. Hello tech world and welcome to another video. Today we'll be taking a look at how I use my iPad Pro as well as the apps that I use to get the most out of my iPad. For those who are unaware, the iPad Pro is my main computing device and though it's not perfect, it's still the best device for me. The iPad that I'm currently using as my main device is the M2 iPad Pro in the 12.9 inch size. It includes 8GB of RAM and 256GB of storage. If you're someone who is intrigued with the thought of using an iPad as their main device or looking to get more use out of it, hopefully this video is able to assist you. If you're new to the channel, we cover everything tech and gaming, so make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any new videos. Now, let's get back to the iPad. For those interested in finding a great note-taking app, trust me when I say you won't need to look far as Apple Notes, in my opinion, is truly underrated. I say this as someone who used to constantly search for note-taking apps because I never thought Apple Notes would be enough, but I was completely wrong. Now I can't even imagine life without this app. It's one of the most used app on my iPad and essential for running this channel. Apple Notes has been great for me as I use it to write my YouTube scripts, draft sponsorship emails, jot down personal notes, and more. Next up, we have Notion. The app I use to help me stay organized with my video progress, keep track of my sponsorship collaborations, and more. Notion is an essential tool, and although I don't fully utilize its capabilities, it's still highly effective for my everyday use. Though I use this for content creation, trust me when I say you can use this app for absolutely anything. Moving on, let's talk about my favorite app, which has to be ChatGPT, as it helps me with absolutely everything, and trust me, I'm not exaggerating. ChatGPT is the tool that assists me in coming up with YouTube titles, crafting descriptions, editing scripts, and more. If you own an iPad, go ahead and add this app. You'll definitely find a way to make use of it. It's literally a must-have. A big thank you to ESR Gear for sponsoring this video. If, like me, you rely on your iPad as your main computing device, you'll want to check out some fantastic accessories from ESR's new lineup. While ESR did provide me with these accessories, I want to emphasize that I've been using their products for a while now and that I've personally tested these items and that everything I share in this video reflects my own genuine opinions. When it comes to ESR's new lineup of accessories, it includes ESR's iPad Shift Magnetic Case, ESR's iPad Paper Feel Screen Protector, as well as their ESR iPad Armorite screen protector. These accessories, in my opinion, are great solutions for those looking for affordable accessories that can enhance one's experience with their brand new iPad. I've been using the iPad Shift Magnetic Case for quite some time now, and I can honestly say it's been a great case for me, allowing me to take full advantage of its various features. The case comes in two parts, an outer cover and an inner cover, with the latter being essential for protecting your iPad from drops. For those wondering, the ESR iPad Shift Magnetic Case is available in several colors, which may be important to some. But what I love most about this case is its versatility. You can adjust it to fit your specific needs, whether you're viewing content, writing notes, or drawing. This case adapts perfectly to your requirements. As of right now, I find myself mostly using it to consume content, as well as browsing the web. This is a great case for your iPad, and you should definitely check it out. Links will be in the description below. Moving on, let's talk about the next two accessories, which are ESR's iPad Armorite Screen Protector and ESR's iPad Paper Feel Screen Protector, which are two excellent options to protect your expensive iPad screen. If you're looking for quality screen protectors at an affordable price, definitely consider these two. What I love about the Paper Feel Magnetic Screen Protector is that it's detachable and reusable. It's perfect for note-taking, drawing, and more. It's claimed that this protector can be attached and used at least 100,000 times, ensuring long-term use. Additionally, this screen protector can be used on top of the tempered glass screen protector that are less than 0.33 millimeters thick, offering double protection. It also features a special finish that resists glare from outdoor and indoor lighting. If interested in the products mentioned in this video, be sure to check the description. And again, thank you ESR Gear for sponsoring this video. Getting back to the video, here are two apps that I like to use for my YouTube thumbnails, which are Canva and GoDaddy Studio Design. These two apps are not only excellent for creating unique thumbnails, but also serve as spectacular graphic design tools for creating flyers, logos, presentations, and so much more. You'd be surprised at how capable both of these apps are, offering a wide range of templates and customization options that cater to beginners and professionals alike. With intuitive interfaces and powerful features, they allow you to bring your creative ideas to life with ease. Whether you're working on a simple project or a more complex design, Canva and GoDaddy Studio Design have you covered. 
Next, we have Adobe Lightroom, a powerful yet user-friendly tool for editing photos. Lightroom stands out as an essential tool for photographers and content creators alike, offering advanced editing capabilities. With its ability to fine-tune colors, enhance details, and apply professional-grade filters, Lightroom allows users to transform ordinary photos into stunning visuals. For those looking to elevate their photo editing game, Lightroom is a tool worth considering. Whether you're a beginner or a seasoned pro, its extensive features and seamless integration with other Adobe Creative Cloud apps make it a must-have in any digital toolkit. Another terrific app for some downtime is Drawing Desk. It's an app that I've been using for over the past two months and I've been enjoying my time with it. While I'm not an expert artist, I enjoy practicing whenever I can and this app makes it easy and fun. Drawing Desk offers a variety of features including drawing lessons, challenges, and more, making it a great tool for both beginners and those looking to improve their skills. If you're curious, head over to the App Store and give it a try. When it comes to consuming content, I have a handful of apps that I rely on regularly. Yes, I know it's quite a collection, but each one genuinely enhances my iPad experience. My top three go-to apps for content consumption are YouTube, Hulu, and Netflix, offering me a diverse range of entertainment to the latest movies and TV shows. Whether it's catching up on my favorite series or discovering new creators, these apps just never disappoint me. Let me know in the comment section which apps you prefer for consuming your content and if there are any I should try out. To wrap this video up, there are several apps I use to get the most out of my iPad experience with even more that I haven't yet discussed, but I'll save those for another video. Whether you already have an iPad or are thinking about getting one, these are just some of the great apps that I use daily. Although I primarily use them for content creation, trust me when I say they're versatile and can be used for much more. If you've enjoyed this video, a like and subscribe would go a long way. I hope this video was helpful. As always, Tech World, it's been a pleasure, and I'll catch you guys on the next video.